Welcome to the show. Now, of course, we have to start with the thing that everyone is talking about. The final presidential debate aired tonight. And honestly, I meant to watch it. I really did. I did. I did. And I got... Uh, I got distracted again, and I want to apologise because I know that this is the show that a lot of people turn to for their news. <laughs> like, I know when something big happens in politics, everyone's always like, oh, what's Corden's take gonna be? <laughs> you know, in many ways, people think of me as the British John Oliver. <laughs> but... But the thing is, right before the debate aired, I was flipping through my DVR and I ended up watching this show called Hawaii Five-0. <laughs> the reboot of the show from the 70s. Well, the episode I saw was from season seven, but somehow I was able to follow along without any problems. <laughs> it had action, adventure. It had that guy, Hurley, from Lost. <laughs> it had that... It had that other guy from Lost. <laughs> I can only assume those guys just stayed in Hawaii after they shot Lost. Like, the show even had the classic theme song. No, 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 we, we got... We've got to talk about the debate, right? Now, <laughs> apparently there was a big controversy leading up to the event when the Trump campaign announced that they were going to invite President Obama's half-brother, Malik, who is a Trump supporter, and they were going to invite him to the debate. Now, I cannot believe this Malik guy. He's from Kenya, he's related to Obama, and he shows up to support Trump. I mean, he really stabbed his brother in the back, which is exactly like how in Hawaii Five-0... <laughs> Dr. Madison Gray ended up being a serial killer who stabbed <laughs> Detective McGarrett in the back. <laughs> oh, hell no! <laughs> Sorry, we have to get back to talking about the debate. I mean, now... <clears throat> Clearly, Trump is using Obama's Kenyan half-brother to add fire to the birther claims, which is ridiculous, because Obama released his birth certificate and we saw that he was born in Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. Hawaii Five. God, I wish you guys had seen that episode. <laughs> it had cars, it had hot babes, it had guns, it had hot babes with guns in cars. I mean, look. Go. <laughs> no, 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 James, come on. <laughs> Pull it together. People are depending on you. They want analysis. They want satirical analysis. OK, now, let's talk about Trump's constant claims that the election is being rigged. Now, Trump has been really pushing this idea hard the last couple of weeks, and if people believe it, it could breathe life back into Donald Trump's campaign. Kind of like how on Hawaii Five-0, when McGarrett <laughs> gave Alicia Brown mouth-to-mouth -mouth after they were thrown into an underwater death trap. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now, I know what you're thinking, but yes, this is all from the same episode. <laughs> <laughs> now, I didn't see the debate, I didn't, but I bet Hillary kept her cool no matter what Donald Trump threw at her. And that shouldn't be surprising. Women deal with their emotions better than men. Women are less violent even when psychologically impaired. But the fact of the matter is... <laughs> OK, I know that is a weird thing to say, but you know how I know those things. Women deal with their emotions better than men. Women are less violent, even when psychologically impaired. But the fact of the matter is... That's right, they said it on the Y50! <laughs> so, yeah, look, I didn't see the debate, but at the end of the day, Hillary's already had two bouts with Trump and she's done really well. I have a feeling she left tonight's debate kind of like the way Dr Gray left Steve McGarrett's truck. <laughs> <laughs> 